Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 662. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College Headset link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 661 to 671, all about the aggregate function. This video from 661 to 671, all about the amazing new 2010 aggregate function. You downloaded it, I have some good notes here. We were talking about how there's 19 functions, unlike the subtotal that only has 11. And then there's all these great new options for things like ignoring hidden rows error. So in this one, we want to see how to ignore hidden rows. And we want to see two important uh, facts about this and one distinction between the aggregate and the subtotal function. Now, the aggregate function is programmed to ignore hidden rows not hidden columns. So let's see how to do this. Equals aggregate. And there are uh, three arguments, or four if you're doing functions 14 to uh, 19. We simply want to do uh, an average. So I'm going to select 1, comma. And for this one, I want to ignore hidden rows. So it's 5 comma, and then we're going to highlight. We're using this one right here because we're um, this array is only for, func for functions 14 to 19, so we're using this one. I'm simply going to highlight. Oops. Actually, let's use sum. Um, sum is 9 right there. Right? And so I want to click right here and sum this data. Close parentheses. Now, um, people. Um, if we were using the subtotal function, let's see that, because it's, it's important to talk about the subtotal, because it's similar. If I can get the right one here. So we could do sum, which is still 9, comma, and then just this. Now notice we had one fewer argument to um, hi, uh, highlight there. Let's go ahead and hide. Right click hide. Now the aggregate function is not looking at that. We hid <laughs> row 8, and the aggregate function is just not looking at it. Now, what did the subtotal do? Well, uh, one thing about the subtotal, and if you go up to Help, um, if you click on this, actually, these right here are a hot link to, um, to Help right there. You'll see that there's actually a bunch of different uh, possibilities. There's 9 or 109. 109 uh, ignores hidden values. 9 will work in a filtered table, but not in a when we hide rows like this. So actually, what we really wanted there is 109. And that's at the bottom here, um, way down here. So then we get our 7. So those are pretty uh, similar. Um, one thing that both of these functions will not do if we do aggregate or subtotal is if we do our sum, sum 9, comma, and we're going to ignore hidden rows, so 5, comma. If we come up here and highlight data in columns, it's just not going to work. So if we have our, for whatever reason, we're, we're not, uh, we want to hide this column, right click and hide, forget it. The um, fact that it's in columns, this function is just not programmed to do that. It's only rows. Now. Subtotal and the filtering feature could work just fine. But the, the way you could use this is if you have odd data that's not really filterable. Say, for example, um, you've highlighted it in bold or something like that, or red. There is a filter for red now in 2007 and 10. But let's just say you hide these. There's some um, uh, mistakes in these records, so you just say, hey, I want to exclude those and see what the sum is. So I'm hiding. Right click, hide. You can't see it. It's off the screen. And sure enough, these update. Now, subtotal and aggregate, they're doing the same thing. So really, uh, one advantage uh, that the aggregate has is if what if you have errors, right? So some of these values, for whatever, zero, whatever reason, has an error. Forget it. Uh, that one's not going to work because we don't have the right argument there. And this one's never going to work. Subtotal's never going to work. So that's where aggregate, we could use aggregate. We'll do our 9 for sum. We'll do our, if I can scroll down here, and we'll use this one. Ignore hidden rows and error values. Totally awesome new feature. And then you highlight this. Close parentheses. No problem. It will handle that. So um, in this. Uh, 
video we saw how to ignore hidden rows, how to ignore hidden rows and error values. And in the last video we saw ignore nothing. We just looked at the functions. So uh, we're looking slowly through all the different permutations. In our next video, we'll look more specifically at um, error values and the aggregate function. All right, see you next trick.